Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. We're in the holiday season pretty solidly now, uh, and that means I have a chance to talk about some of my favorite holiday movies, some of my favorite Christmas movies specifically. Uh, there are a bunch of them out there. I grew up with a lot of them. This one in particular, uh, I still find exceptionally hilarious, and I think most people who've seen it do. Uh, it's the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Uh, it came out in 1989, so it's distinctly an 80s film, especially since it's written by John Hughes, who did the previous Vacation films. Uh, this is another one based on his own life experience, gro experiences growing up, just like the original National Lampoon's Vacation was. Uh, it's based on a short story uh, he wrote called uh, Vacation... Uh, 59, which was his follow-up to Vacation 58, which was uh, the basis for the original uh, Vacation movie. The, the movie, of course, stars the Griswold family, uh, Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo as uh, the parents. Uh, they have new kids again, but they're the same kids, just played by different actors, as is the case in every one of these movies. Uh, this time around, uh, we've got John Galecki, uh, who's gone on to do a whole lot of stuff. Uh, currently in the Big Bang Theory, so he's still working and still working a lot. He plays Rusty, the, the son, and we have Juliette Lewis playing Audrey, uh, the daughter. Uh, now, she has also gone on to do a whole lot of stuff. This is probably one of the most solid casts they had in any of their movies because everyone in this one has had a huge career both before and after the movie came out. So the talent uh, in this particular iteration of the Vacation movies is completely off the charts, especially when it comes to comedy. You've also got Julia Louis-Dreyfus as the neighbors. You've got Diane Ladd in the movie. You've got uh, Randy Quaid, of course. But most importantly, you have this whole dysfunctional family all under one roof during what's generally one of the most stressful holidays of the year, Christmas. We get to see all sorts of typical Christmas stuff go on. We have Clark trying to get the lights up on the house. He goes a little overboard there, and we see the problems that those old strings of lights have, where if one bulb is burnt out, you're pretty much screwed. Good luck finding it among those thousands and thousands, and not to mention how much power those draw. Uh, being the old incandescent bulbs and everything uh, like that. So the uh, that humor is very solid, plays on stuff that goes back years, still funny today, still referenced today. You also have the fantastic sledding sequence uh, with that metal uh, disc sled, the, the flying saucer sled that gets all oiled up, and he goes shooting through everything. Uh, again, absolute hilarious physical comedy, slapstick, and something that anyone who's ever been sledding can kind of relate to, because that's the sort of sled ride we all hoped for and feared we would have. Bringing in the tree and having the squirrel and the cat with the chewing on the lights, all of that stuff is just the sorts of crazy things that people have actually had happen uh, in one way or another. I know I've had Christmases uh, that while the cat didn't get electrocuted, uh, the cat has taken down the tree, the dogs have taken down the tree, ornaments go flying everywhere. We didn't often do live trees, so we didn't have to worry about squirrels, but sap was a problem sometimes. Uh, and then there's the relatives coming to visit. Uh, we didn't have a lot of out-of-town relatives uh, that would come uh, and visit us. We did our Christmases uh, at another relative's house, at my grandmother's house, my grand-aunt's house. Uh, so they, we didn't have people coming into our house on a regular basis uh, most of the time. 
Uh, and our relatives weren't from that far away, so it's not like they needed places to stay uh, very often when they came into town. But uh, a lot of people do have those relatives come in, and I know some people have relatives like Cousin Eddie that show up and just bring all sorts of well-intentioned chaos with them, but chaos nonetheless. Uh, the best part of this movie, though, my absolute favorite part of this movie is when Clark gets stuck up in the attic. And this is why this movie and most of the vacation films really are a step above a lot of other comedies uh, that, that come out and are quickly forgotten about. In that scene where he's stuck in the attic, he finds the old film reel of about Christmas 1959. And he sets up the projector, and he sits there and he watches it. And it is one of the most touching moments uh, in any comedy I've ever seen. Uh, to have this completely out there character who, who gets into all these wild adventures, having that moment of real, pure, down-to-earth humanity and nostalgia and family, and you can see how trying to reclaim what he remembers fuels all of these wild things that he always does. And of course, uh, it ends on a slapstick note as, as he gets dumped uh, unceremoniously uh, into the hallway since he was doing the complete Griswold thing and sitting right on the trap door uh, that, that you get used to get in and out of the attic. Uh, and that whole moment uh, really makes the film, and it's, it's the centerpiece that adds that grounding, that heart. And you've heard me say before how important heart is in these movies, and that moment right there, that scene, is a prime example of how to do it and how to do it right. It doesn't derail anything, it adds to everything, it doesn't even feel like it comes out of nowhere. And it just ties everything together in such a great way. Uh, so if you're a fan of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what your favorite scene is. Let me know what you love about this movie or what you hate about this movie. I don't know many people that hate this movie, but I'm sure there's some out there. Uh, if you like the stuff I say, give me a thumbs up right down there. And if you uh, are subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. If you're not subscribed, uh, subscribe so you get notified when these come out. And if you know anyone else who's interested in this stuff, share this or one of my other videos with them uh, so they can come and get involved in the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for tonight. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.